Okay, in the second video, we have already installed our environment to work with Django. So in this video, we are going to uh, plan our blog application. Okay, uh, I'm inside this blog application directory. So I'm going to open this blog application in Sublime Text 3. The Sublime dot will open all this file into Sublime Text. This is my blog application. So, uh, before I start coding, let us think about the features that we need in our blog. So, let us let us create a file name called models.md. Uh, in our blog, what will be our features? Features will be blog will have the following features in number one we'll have post this will going to be a table in database we also have category categories table in database uh, we also need to have tag this will also be the table in our database we also need author this will be also the table in our database so uh, let us make a relation let us make a relation between our tables a post can have many categories categories and a categories can have many posts this will be the relation between relation between between post and category table table mm. and tag or tag can have many post and a post can have many tag this will be many to many relation this will also many to many relation okay for that um, author uh, author author can have many post post and a post can have a, and a post can have a single author uh, we can also create uh, this relation as a many to many relations but uh, in our blog let us make a restriction that that let us define the attributes for our tables for tables attributes will be uh, for post post will post title or you can also say as only your title uh, will have created date it will have body it will have tags it will have category it will have categories and it will also have author this will be the attributes of post for the category it will have category name and it will have category description categories and for the author author name author email then author bio not not mandatory author bio author email author name author bio uh, this will be sufficient for author and let us define attributes for tag table 
tag name we don't need to define tag we don't need to define tag description uh, this will be the model for our blog so let's create model for our title okay let us create for class post model start model because uh, this post is the child class of this model class then this will have title models dot char field maximum length is equal to 200 then uh, let us set body body equal to models dot text field and this will have maximum length we don't need to provide the length for the body created date equal to model start date time field auto now add equal to true auto now add will uh, set the date for this for the each instance of post uh, when the post is created and auto now auto now equal to false then updated date will will be the just reverse of created date model start date time field field auto now add equal to false auto now equal to true since the date for the updated date variables when these objects when the instance of this post get modified these lines do that function and other will be we also need to define author author equal to models dot rei gn foreign key then a u t author author then we also need to define um, categories and tag I am going to use categories because the relation is many to many C T G O R I S categories equal to model start many to many field then auto now we don't need to define auto now we need to define the category category tag equal tags equal to models dot many to many field tag okay if I run these uh, models it will give through an error because uh, this class this post class is not aware of category tag and author so we need to define those models as well so we need to write this, this above class author models dot model then uh, author so let us look some attributes of author author name email and bio I am going to make a slight indentation here ok author so just I am going to put just name name equal to model as our field maximum length equal to 50 and email equal to morals dot email field max we don't unique unique equal to true then unique equal to true means uh, in our database uh, when one email is registered you cannot register that email for the second time so the other is author bio by equal to models dot text field text field so I am going to remove this char field and I am going to write some description here define the blog author table author table this class will going to define define 
define um, rock stable class equal to okay let us create the class for the category and for the tag let us create the class for category cd g o r y c a t g o r y uh, remember the class name will always a camel case in python and django so model star model category name will be models dot star field maximum length equal to 50 then uh, do we need to provide description cat description okay let us cat esc category description equal to models dot star field maximum length equal to 255 okay class tag models dot model tag name equal to model start char field maximum length equal to 50 tag description equal to model start char field max length equal to 255 okay this is our model so uh, we need to define the we need to define the str magic methods for each class to represent the objects in our admin page we will look after completing this model that py file this will be self self then return self dot name str self then return self dot category name then mm, we also need to write some magic method for this tag table also written self start tag name then we also need to define the mask method for this post so that we can know the object as a as with its name written self start okay for the in the next video we will uh, look uh, into how to uh, run this uh, models.py file and make some changes in our database and then we also make a migration and we also work with the admin